Hello, and welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Gork, joined today by Kim Wallace. Did you forget my name for a second? No, then? I'm doing a dramatic pause. Give oh. me some credit here. You've been a, a constant president in the office for years. I, 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 <laughs> Jeez. Leo Vader! Hey! Woo. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Cool. Kim, what are we looking at? We are looking at Dragon Quest Eleven. Dragon Quest. Dra 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 blah, Quest. blah blah blah. All right, love it. Dragon Quest Eleven. Now you have been reviewing this game forever. <laughs> it seems like this game doesn't end. Uh, no, that's very true. Um, it is a long game. Mm -hmm. um, no DLC with it, so you get everything all on one disc. It's very classic Dragon Quest, old school. You know. For for some some of that's good. Some yeah. of it's like you get some modern like conveniences that aren't quite there. Like no, like I still have to do save points, and some of the save points are really bad. Between like you'll have to go through a whole dungeon, then mm -hmm. get through a bad like a really tough boss, and then you can save. So sometimes there's right. saves before the bosses, sometimes not. But it's very inconsistent. Hey, look at well, I just leveled up. Mm -hmm. By the way, I love Jade. She's my new favorite character. I saw she attacked that. Stone Gollum with her booty butt. I yep. also noticed that. Yep, there's lots of fun attacks here. So she learned in, in a new spell. Oh, Serena, yeah. my healer, did. So I'll show you guys the upgrade system since this is new. They kind of streamlined it a little bit for this entry. So yeah, um, I actually like it. You have your Move points, over. and you can put it like into certain areas you uh -huh. want. And every character has a special, their own specialty, and two weapons they can wield. So if I like wanted to make her mo a little more offensive, I could give her focus on spear abilities. She's really a healer, so she's got all these healer mm -hmm. abilities. And then we'll go over to Jade, who we just leveled up. Oh boy. She's got Allure, that is the charm. So you, she's a charmer and she can charm enemies if you get it up high enough. She'll mm -hmm. blow kiss. Um, we saw the booty bump that I did before. Was that a charm attack? Yes, that was a hip drop. Mm. Hip drop. Yep. So you can also do fisticuffs or spears. I like with the spear though, because you can do a lot of damage. Are you gonna buy? A, you gonna buy something? You just leaving well, us hanging? Well, I mean, here's the thing. I only have four points. Right. I don't have enough. Let Let me see. I have enough with. Silvando. Oh my gosh. He is um his life is four out yes, of nine. He is. He's <laughs> a he was a circus performer and he joins your party. Uh -huh. And he's got a lot of charm attacks as well. Because yeah. you know, showmanship. Yeah, the circus. Yeah, you got it. So yeah, he's uh I actually use a lot of his whip abilities because that's fun. Of course I can't buy anything. Cork, you put the pressure on and now okay, so like here we go. If I wanted him to wield knives because circus performer, obviously, he can do some stuff mm -hmm. with knives. <laughs> yep. And then boom, and then it opens up more things. Ah. And so you want to maximize sometimes opening a square yep. to get this thing in the middle is usually some of the best skills. Right. And um, you also have an opportunity to land on a bonus um, that would give you extra skill points. So you can never quite know where you're going to get. Huh. But yeah, it's a. Uh, you know, it's been since we've had a Dragon Quest game on console. God, it was like 2005 last, and then the other one, um, nine, was on uh, DS. Right. And then we didn't get the MMO, and so it's been a while since we got we've builders, had one of these. though. Right? Builders was yeah, fun. Yeah, we got builders. We got uh, heroes. I felt like they really amped some of that up to be able to um, we'll fight again. Now, oh, Kim. Wait. Oh God. Before we started recording, there was a cow, and you seemed oh! to think that you were going to do something cool okay, with this cow, yeah, I'm and going you ran away from I, the cow. What? I have to show them the fun side of Forge anyways, yeah. so let's go back. Let me see where the cow was. Is there a cow icon on the map? No. There okay. is a campfire, right, and he was enough. near the campfire, but... Wait. Let's see that cow gameplay. Oh, let's here's see. a cow. What? Okay, so it's the... TV he tells and animal you the in, yeah, uh, he, Harvest yes, Moon. Yes, exactly. He gives you the weather because the game has its own weather system. Check this day out. and night cycle. Kim, check this out. 
It's like Harvest Moon. <laughs> That's for you, Leo. Oh, Leo's just That's busting up. That's for me to up. cut out? He's loving it so oh much. You should. God. Oh, man, so you're smiling. You love this it. This is the <laughs> campfires are how you kind of restore. Um, it is. It's actually how you restore health. Mm -hmm. uh, you also can forge items in the fun size forge, which this gets really addicting because. Is that a guy? Like, is the forge a little guy? Or am I anthropomorphizing it? Like, it looks like a little eye slit in the nose. You know what? I legs. never oh. noticed that. Yeah. Is he telling me to do stuff? So, like, you can forge weapons. Uh -huh. Let's see. I'll try to do something I haven't made yet. Oh, I might not have anything. Let's see. Well, I bet it would be really fun. I can make something that I already have. Okay, here we go. Steel okay. shield. Yes. There we go. Here we go. Get ready. Okay, so here's my forge. Uh-huh. Now, this takes a lot of talent. Because you have to get it very specific. So here we go. Sizzly puff. We're going to increase this temperature so uh -huh. we get some, you know, more effective strikes. Now, what do I want to do to make this go quicker? We're probably going to fail. Oh, maybe not. Huh. So, so you understand this, right, Leo? Because I, uh, yeah, I I'll do. I'll explain <laughs> it to you later. I just, yeah, it's, I get it. See? Was this well, you hard only have to so learn? Much, it was, because you only have so much focus. Look, I went over, so now it's going to yell at me. Um, it's tricky. Mm. But I should be able to make it. I'm feeling good about it, okay? So, because I don't want to go over, there's lightning bash. This expands, like, greatly as you oh, go on. Good. Here we go. That's pretty much what I would have done. Wait. Wait for it. Yeah! Success! So what's cool, too, is some of the stuff that you make actually shows up on your character. So all the different swords, mm -hmm. um, you know, you can change their attire, um, which is fun. Can actually. you forge a new haircut for Colin? I asked that. I asked, <laughs> this is something I asked the devs because I just don't like his haircut. But and they uh, said we like it? Yep, Yuck. pretty much. Um, let's me see if I have... Okay, so this is a throwback for people. Let's see. Here's like, do I have the helmet? Yep. Dragon Quest uh, A character. Look at that. There's a lot. So this game was made to kind of celebrate their 30th anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Dragon Quest is the longest running JRPG series. And uh, so there's a lot of little throwbacks throughout, like just fun little things. Um, also, more with how the game um, has some cool little secrets that you'll that you'll find that if you've been a fan for a long mm -hmm. time like I have, you yeah. will catch and really... What are all of them? I can't tell. It's a surprise, <laughs> okay. Cork. All I will say is there is a true ending, and ah. I recommend that... That true ending is a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Uh -huh. um, we're going to Zoom. So Zoom used to cost money, and you used to have to be outside to, of the dungeon to use it. Now you can just Zoom anywhere, fast nice. travel very easily. So I'm going to show you guys... Uh, naughty guy, naughty cat, naughty dog. Nice. Wow, naughty dog. <laughs> Not, I don't know that dog. Uh, but yeah, the, that's a long. It's a hard fought ending. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. But oh my gosh, did it drive me crazy? Because it is just like battle after battle, and you're retreading a lot of the same dungeons you did before. So I liked how the game came together, and then it's like to work for the true ending. I mean, you got to work it. You but gotta work it, Leo. You gotta work it. So we're, we're working it. There's a good variety of the different cities you actually visit. This is Nautica, one of my favorite. Um, Little Mermaids. Are what you do you like about this? this? It's just, look how yeah. vibrant. I like that you're not it. swimming. I like that you're still on your You feet. can swim later, but. <laughs> hey, look at that guy. He won't talk to me because I'm not a fish, so he won't sell me items. Yeah. But, um,. You know how sure. it goes. Had to keep it realistic. Very true. So here we go. Up here. This is where those uh, blue dots are side quests. So you can... Ah. She was obsessed with humans around 50 years ago. Mm-hmm. A delightful little boy. She's rhyming. Oh, yeah. This whole town talks and rhymes, which is really annoying. But, you know, oh. every, every RPG, I feel like, has this at some point. <laughs> Yep. It's just like, no, it's great. So I can get a good a trident if I do this, a new weapon. Mm -hmm. So she says he said something in Gondolia. Should we go check out? I think we absolutely must okay. check it out. Check it out. Zoom. Leo, why don't you give us 
a nice rhyme to explain what's happening. Uh, we're on our way. We are going to fast travel. Oh, uh, oh boy, you've really done it. Th this is where our the rubber hits the unravel. gravel. Oh, <laughs> I think yours is better and smarter. You write poems, Cork. You should. Uh, yeah, they're they're uh, not good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like Gondolia. I think this is my kind of you place. You think this is your kind of place? Yep. This is a big... Um, Please don't make shipping. me look like an asshole. No, it's Be not cool, horrible. Gondolia. <laughs> so this is the commentary <laughs> on racism. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. That's okay. I have faith in that silhouette. The load times. Here we go. Here oh, we go. yeah. Gondolia. Look at it. This is another really cool place. It's like Rialto. Yep. Hmm. Let's see if I remember where this dude is. Do, do, do. do so, I need to play the first ten games to get into this no, one? No, <laughs> you just won't miss some of the references, but honestly, the plot is pretty, like, there's nothing you're going to be lost with or anything. Is it yeah. good? I guess the plot? The, uh, yes. Is so, it a story that you will like? I, like, hmm. never have... Oh, boy. <laughs> you could just say no, Kim. No, it's no. Fine. Here's the thing. Dragon Quest has never been stronger in their story. I actually think this is one of their stronger attempts. Um, <laughs> oh, no. You're using the word attempt. <laughs> no, here's the thing. No. The characters <laughs> and how they come together and why are mm -hmm. all very, very interesting. And I feel like ah. they really, like, fleshed out backstories really well okay. in this one. Um the only thing is, like, the game does some weird stuff towards, like, the game is just has some weird points, okay? I can't, I don't want to spoil anything to anyone, but, like, there's just some pretty weird stuff that happens. And then after that, um, the plot kind of is like, what? Um, so that was, like, my big, mm. it all wraps into something satisfying, but, um, but when you get to the true ending part, especially, oh, why did I do that? That's a good question. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Let's At any point in the story, do you get swallowed by a monster and you have to fight from inside the monster no. to get out? Really? Mm -mm. Mm. Okay, let's go Too to this bad. one. This one's the Wrestler Town. So I'm Wrestler Town? Mm -hmm. Like Greco-Roman or professional? Well, I guess I'll find out. You don't want to spoil it. You're giving me a, <laughs> the look. Like the wait and see. It's nice. You'll see. Yeah, I'll see. Um... So the no, characters are good, but the overall story it's a is, good, gets weird. Here's what I will say about Dragon Quest XI. Is like, it reminds me of what made me fall in love with RPGs. Like I got totally addicted to getting the next best armor, mm -hmm. you know, fighting like bosses with the turn-based battle system that actually like you're not tapping buttons in this. You will just die if you do not use your spells correctly and buffs. Um, but... And just like finding everything I can across the world, like this big expansive world just to search. Uh, it also reminds me of a lot of stuff that I feel like the genre does that I don't necessarily love as well. So although I think it's a really fun game and I put a ton of time into it mm -hmm. and I had fun during it, I can also admit that like, yeah, they could have... Um, there's some stuff that still feels like Dragon Quest is behind the times. And I know it has that classic feel and that's what people like, but I just think you can only go classic so much and the series should try to start taking some more risks with what it does and mm -hmm. just being more modern in general. Cause like when I did, when I played Dragon Quest eight for interest, for example, mm -hmm. like that game on the PS2, that world wowed me because at the time it just felt like, wow, this is a huge world and it's, you know, it's fun to explore. Now we've had a lot of games come out and m much more like interesting worlds, I guess I would say. Mm -hmm. Although like, you know, there's a good chunk of things going on here. So there's one of the wrestlers. He's taunting him. Would you say the music is one of the, the things The Underdigger. Feels... Oh. <laughs> He's giving him a what for. Yep. All day long. Is that JonTron? <laughs> <laughs> There's the bar. There's always a bar. The music <laughs> seems to be... Uh, my character's name is Colin because that's what I name all my male characters. FYI. Okay. I don't know where I came up with it, but... Probably the name Colin. Yeah, right. you know, somebody... I've heard it somewhere. Yeah. 
see. You had a question. Leo. Yeah, I yeah. don't want to keep dwelling on it, but just is the music... It's bad, right? It sounds bad to me. It sounds very... It sounds... Is it one of the things it's that's very antiquated? It's very drag... Yes, it's Dragon Quest. Uh, very uh, classic. It's Some of it, okay. it gets good as it goes on, but the, this like this theme right here, this gets in your head, and it is not a, a fun thing. <laughs> Let's go at a campsite, because I'll show you another battle. I'll battle some more enemies. Maybe you can get a pep power. A pet Please. power? Pep power. Yeah. That's your like uh, tension power. This game lets you now do combos with the characters if they both have their pep power at the same time. Now, you can't control when it happens, except later in the game you can get items, but... That's uh -oh. way later. Spoiler. But here we go. So we fight these guys. But, like, the creatures are just... I always like just seeing the designs and what they've come up with. And mm. the names are great. I don't know. I, I'm i not trying to... I really do like this game. It's good. Um, I don't know if that's coming across because I'm trying to make sure I talk about everything. Watch this. Remember I say circus performer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. There you go. That's uh. what a circus performer would do in that situation. <laughs> Look out, front row. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's do another one of her. You want to do Puff Puff? Yeah, of course. Oh, you don't even have to ask. Her best Puff Puff. Oh, okay. Look at he's charmed by he me. He loves her. He's in love with her. I love oh, the there way is she pep power! Yes, we got it. All right. All right, ready? So pep powers. Well, you actually want to use, I'm going to use one right here, but you okay. want to go like at least three turns before you use one because you want to keep your height and stats yeah. for as long as possible, but it'll go away. Usually three to four turns is the max. So here he is with Silvando. And those attacks are more powerful than something you would basically do on yeah, your own. Yeah, the sword got hot. Yeah. Nice. Do, do, do. What is Colin's default name? Do you even know? I think they just called him Eleven in Tony? all the promo stuff. Really? Yeah. Oh, boy. I think it's Dragon. Wait, I think there's a big guy I can fight, if I remember. Is there a squid there. in your party? That's uh, not my party. Well, that's just an enemy. Okay, never mind. Should I go on my boat next? Yeah. I'm gonna go on my boat. But where's that? I don't know if I'm in the place I remember. Leo. Hey. Here it is. What would someone have to do to get you to play this game through completion? Hmm. Is it just a situation where they would just have to ask nicely and recommend it? Or would a lot of money be, have to be involved? Yeah, I'm not really a big, like, turn based combat kind of guy. Uh huh. So I feel like there would have to be money or, like, a gun or my <laughs> family's lives at stake, you okay. know, to play all the way through. To play all the way through. I'm telling you, the boss battles, you really, they challenge you. You really have to think. That's what yeah. I like. I'm a big fan, though, of the turn-based system. Like, you don't want it to go away. I do like, like I said, the action battle system's fine. It's just nice to have games that still use the traditional system and try mm -hmm. to find sure. ways to make it fun. The old ways. The old ways. Hey, here we are on the boat. So you can fly, uh, obviously, sail around to different islands. So you'll maybe catch some, let's see, on the map here. Ah, those little so, guys. Yeah, so there's like buried treasure. Mm -hmm. Let's go to that island right there. Oh, uh -oh. boy. Who we got now? Woo! Who invited those guys? What the heck? I'm on my boat. How'd you get on here? Mermaniac. <laughs> I like that. Sea slime and spinchilla. I'm helping in case you can't read. Mermaniac is yeah. gonna get boom. Oh man, <laughs> that was a bad attack. Is there any kind of like automated battle system for low-level creatures? Like when you reach a certain threshold, you're like, I don't want to have to go through the motions I mean, with this you guy. Can I will auto, obviously win. So here's your lineup. You uh -huh. always can can do um sorry go to tactics uh -huh. and you can um just oh okay yeah you can just have them mm -hmm. do their stuff or you can you know have them fought i have everybody following orders because i never trust computer uh, ai rather to know what the hell i want to do with anything yeah. mm -hmm. um but you can 
Um, also, there's a spell that you get um, as you go on that you can cast um, that will make it so lower level enemies don't attack you, so you don't hmm. have to deal with that. But there's not like a anything like like an Earthbound style uh, walk into them and they die kind no, of automatically. No, I like those. I'm leveling up quite a bit while I show everything off. Yeah, I am. A no, don't because nope. you, you can't I afford anything. I gotta get to the island. I gotta get to the island, gotta and then we'll it. wrap up here. But I mean, if you like RPGs and you've been a fan of Dragon Quest, or just even want something more of like a nostalgic trip, mm -hmm. it's it's fun. It's like a you know a Dragon Quest game with better graphics, um, a hell of a lot of content, dynamic Ooh. weather system, I mean, day night it's cycle. It's big. It's big. Um, like I said, I don't want to spoil... I'm kind of being careful, and that's mm -hmm. why I feel like I'm coming off more negative than I mean to be. Because ah. uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Because um, there's a lot of cool things here. Uh, but it kind of goes off the rails, you'd yeah, say? Yeah. And it's not what you'd expect, so... Um, You'll have ready. to tell us off the air, because that'll be satisfying to people who are watching this now. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to know what it is, just come work here. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. Only if you work with me, though. Ah, I like that. I like the handsome crab. That's interesting. For a crab, I guess. Yeah. Who are we to doesn't, say? It doesn't look too bad. I love her. Dude, she's a good one. Victory! All right, come He's on. quite dashing. To the island. He is. Silvando's got uh, plenty of personality, and there's a part, like I said again, that's hard to talk about later in the game that is really fun with him. I'll just put it that way. It sounds fun. He's all about spreading happiness. I can I can hang with that. So does this song, you like this song, Leo? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Let's do something. It's building different. the tension. Yes. Oh. So the is there any interaction between party members? Like between like while you're out in the field, do they talk to each other? Uh, they fun. There, I have, I'll show you one thing in a second. Um, and not the pep stuff. That doesn't count. No, Jim. not the pep stuff. Uh, yeah, no. There's cutscenes. Um, oh. Yeah, and I like I said, those kind of show off more of the backstory. But there's also another thing. What? Oh, they put a thing on me, so I can't cast spells. Very smart, uh, maniacs. Uh, Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's sizzle this up. I like that miasma. I think it looks pretty cool. It These looks aren't like... even the impressive ones. No? Yeah, I, I, it's. I wish I could show off a good boss, but I don't. Again. Not allowed to. I'm being careful, for the sake. There we go. She's pepping up. Can oh, here it comes. No. Oh. She can't cast spells, though. So without being able to cast spells, what kind of pep would she have? No pep right there. Uh, no pep at all. No pep. Oh, wow. It's hard. Mm-hmm. Oh, I missed. No. Uh oh, they're hallucinating now. Does oh that no! Mean they're gonna attack each other. They might. Don't worry, I got it done. Yeah, turns out you need to use the spear rather than the. <laughs> but yeah. there we go. So yeah, Classic there's a bunch club. of islands. There's stuff in the sky. How do you to get visit. to the sky? Well, that's you'll find out. Interesting. I'm not allowed to show any of that, but... You hear this, Leo? You can get in the sky. You also you can, can mount monsters to get around places in the dungeons, so hmm. it kind of becomes a puzzle of um, figuring out like where to go and mm -hmm. how to use those best. So that that's pretty cool for the dungeons. It's a little different. Oh, yeah, I meant to show you. Party talk. Party talk? You were just asking. Yeah, this is great. 
So if you need help knowing where to go, you can talk to them. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a nice little chat. What, what, what? Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, oh. that guy seems great. How quickly did you remove him from your main party? Was it just instantaneously? He's got some powerful attacks, so I had to put However, up some of it. Um, he's just, it seems like a real creep. Yeah, so there's a, I'm just gonna bypass this a little bit. These islands have some pretty nifty edit, um, treasures and stuff for crafting that's really com that comes in handy also a lot of side quests can be completed oh look at that big guy yeah he big but yeah this is oh see you have to oh. get yeah you don't we don't have the key yet unfortunately but should we end it by just fighting this big guy here do your worst by that oh you know, like, boy wait 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 oh i forgot there's a handy heal all button <laughs> okay now. So it yeah. uses, it optimizes the best way to use your healing, so you can just like get it all done in one quick. Okay, so that's whether nice. that's like potions or casting spells or anything, yeah, that's yeah. really smart. I like yeah. that idea. That's one of the better. Um, ha ha! <laughs> Eat it. It's interesting that the best they could come up with for this guy was Cyclops. That's true. All of them have <laughs> it's like really, handsome crab. It's like, let's just call it what it is. Yeah. We give up on this know. one. Reinventing the wheel here. Yeah, it's true. But. It's just a cyclops, but blue. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Oh well. We gotta do. Oh, I'm gonna try something difficult. So if you hit this, you get a crit, but it's really hard to land. Up, oh, I missed. Just cyan clops. Taking risks. Not good Frizz, idea. Frizzle, sizz, sizzle. We want to <laughs> rip, rap, hip hop. <laughs> throw a large fireball at him. Oh no! Oh. oh. He seems like the kind of guy who would have an attack where he hits everybody with one swing. Is that true? Um, I don't know. I can't remember actually. Oh, Should we trip him? You want to trip him? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, you just kind of, you have to feel bad, right? Whee! I mean, he looks pretty sad right now. Mm -hmm. This is kind of making me feel a little He bad. also destroyed a lot of my walls in Dragon Quest Builders, so screw that guy. He's okay, you know it. Yeah. That's, one of the things I like about this series is they do have the same enemies have been in these games mm -hmm. since forever. You could say, is it classic? Is it old and musty? But that's fun to see these guys. Uh, yeah. Here's the power of Pep. Here comes Scorch and Sweep. Wah! Through pep power, anything is possible. Also, you can change party members during battle if yeah. you want to. So yeah, we can bring a rab in there. We'll put in Eric. Eric has this like he's the only one with like an American accent, and he kind of emulates a New Yorker ish oh, or East no. Coast. It's not great. I just want to get that out there because it was one thing that it took me a long time to adjust to his voice. Yeah. <laughs> Just not well, cool. there's not a lot of Let's dialogue. Let's see if is I it? can make him to talk. Oh no! Oh is no! Is it mostly just hey? Jay is gonna die. Should I help her out? Yeah. Won't it heal her? Zip zap. I think look in general that. this game looks really good, but the character portraits kind of look a little deviant RT to me. <laughs> All right, so we could do this. I this acknowledge up. that comment. Thank you. Boulder bringer. He didn't talk. I was trying to get him to cast his spell to talk. They all talk, and he didn't. Oh, well. Guess you won't get to see Eric's voice right now. Here. See. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's been it's been a day, guys. That's all right. It's like I've been doing nothing but playing this game. All right. So this game will break your brain. I mean, 90. I hit the 90-hour mark. Um, and then I also think you could well go like 110 if you wanted to and with, if you did all the content, uh, side content. I powered through it. Um as much as I could, but you do need to do some grinding mm -hmm. here and there. Um, sometimes battles just come down to like, are you the right level? And that was kind of annoying, but 
to say the least. Um, it's good to search the world and find stuff. Like, this is probably the best the game has looked. Mm -hmm. I mean, but that's for, you know, Dragon Quest, obviously. It's not, it's pretty for what it is, but like I said, it's not anything that's gonna blow your mind in yeah. the graphics department, but that's okay. Yeah. And that's, like I said, I think it looks good for what, what it's going for, and mm -hmm. yep. That is Dragon cool. Quest XI. You can read my review. That's now on the site. What did you give it? 8.25. All right. There you go. Kim, thanks for showing off this game. You're welcome. Leo. Hey. How are you doing? Thanks for thanks for being here. Thank, my pleasure. It's been All great. All right. And thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Bye.